Testing your game is something that you do constantly during the development process. What if I told you there was a way you can do it while you sleep? Today I'll be talking about test-driven development and specifically automated functional testing in Unreal Engine 4. So what I have here is my parkour project from my parkour tutorial series. So let's say I wanted to test wall climbing and like mantling. So like let's say I can do this and I wanted to test that. So what I can do is create a functional test for it. So first thing we're going to do is duplicate the map. So let's right click duplicate or control W and then we're going to call it F test underscore. Now that part's important. It's got to start with F test underscore. If not, it won't work. And then we'll call it mantle test. Now just to keep it clean, let's move it to its own folder. So let's do right click new folder and call it test move that folder out into the content folder and then go back here and let's move this into the test folder there you go we have a test folder with our f test map let's open that up now for testing and for making it you know faster and eliminating variables let's go ahead and just remove as many of these objects as we can whatever we don't need uh, we can go ahead and remove it so we'll delete all this stuff because really all we want to focus on is this area here and we don't want anything to mess with that and we also just don't you know need to load that in because that's just going to take more time uh, to load it in so now we have a clean level and it's just you know this area here so we can use this to test mantling and we have our clean map and what we're going to do next is actually delete our player spawn uh, first let's copy the location so we have that for reference and we'll delete this so we don't actually want to spawn in a character uh, when we're testing what we want to do instead is actually just bring in our character directly so we'll bring him in paste in the location so he starts at the same spot uh, and then for go back to world settings and for the game mode, we're going to create a new game mode for testing. So let's call it testing game mode. And we can go, that can go into the test folder as well. So with the testing game mode, the default pawn class is going to be none. So if you hit start, you should not see anything. You shouldn't be able to move around or anything. That's exactly what we want. The reason for that is we're not actually going to be possessing our character when we're running tests. We don't want the keystrokes or anything on your keyboard to actually mess with the test it's going to be all done through code so once we've done that we're ready to get started on the functional test itself so let's go into the test folder right click create a new blueprint and this is going to be let's expand the all classes it's going to be a functional test that's what it's called so create a new functional test and we'll call it mantle test bp open it up here we're going to have our mantle test and we're going to actually need to drag this out into the scene as well. Now let's go back and we'll set the time limit to five seconds. That should be enough time to uh, make sure that our character got to his location. So we're actually going to create a trigger up here and we're going to make sure that he's able to climb up every time. Uh, but for now, let's go back here. Go into our event graph and like I said, we're going to want to use a trigger for this. And we're also going to want a reference to our character. So let's go ahead and do uh, character and change this to character. So any kind of character will work here. Drag it out. And we're going to want to add movement input so he can continually uh, walk forward. And this is going to be in the direction of the forward vector. So let's grab this get actor forward vector drag that in here and that's it so now our character should walk forward so in order to test this we're gonna have to actually create a new camera so we can see because if you hit play right now you're not gonna be able to see anything so we're gonna go ahead and create a new camera you can drag it anywhere just right click on the camera and then do snap object to view so you see it actually snapped it to uh, our view in the viewport so with that let's find the functional test again and in here you should see observation point you can either select the camera from the scene or you can hit the drop down and click on camera actor so now that our camera is set up let's go back to our mantle test bp and make this visible so that we can drag our character onto it 
So once you've done that, you should see this character uh, combo box here. You can pick an actor from the scene and just click straight onto your character. And now, if we open our session front end, you could go there by going Window, Developer Tools, Session Front End. Have it open here. You should see this project drop down with functional tests and then your F test underscore mantle test. If you don't, make sure you named it correctly. Make sure you added a F test underscore. Uh, if you still don't see it, refresh tests should be there. And if it is, check mark and let's run it. Save. See our character move forward by himself and our camera is set up so we can view the whole scene. So now let's actually write the test. Now I mentioned before that our goal with this test is to actually make sure that our character jumps, mantles, jumps, mantles, and then lands right here. So what we can do is actually get a trigger and place it right there. So let's grab a sphere trigger, place it right there, make sure it's aligned with our character since he's only moving forward. And then we can go ahead and increase the sphere radius on this, let's say like 200, maybe let's do 150. We want to make sure that he can actually mantle over and let's move it back a little bit so there you go so now let's go back to our mantle test bp and we'll add a new variable for trigger and this will be trigger sphere let's make that visible as well hit compile go back here and let's go back to our functional test and we will pick our trigger from the scene there you go Go back to our test and now let's click onto the trigger and we're going to add a new event on actor begin overlap and we're going to make sure that the other actor here equals our character and if it does then we're going to call finish test Test result will be succeeded. So now we have to figure out how to get our character from here to here to here to activate the trigger. So let's go back and we're going to have to simulate the jump events. So let's go into our start test. And I already calculated, you know, the correct values for this, but it's going to take some uh, trial and error, you know, on your end whenever you're testing your code. So what I'm going to do here is add a delay for 0.4 seconds and then after 0.4 seconds I'll make my first jump so let's test that out session front end run test there you go so our character made it to the first jump now let's do the second one. I'm going to copy this over. And this delay is going to be a little bit longer, so it's going to be 0.85. I'm going to compile, save, go back to our session front end, start test. And there you go. So as you can see, we were able to actually jump over and mantle at the last ledge. And you know, that's very precise for a reason. So whenever you're adjusting the movement of your character, you can run your tests and verify that the movement uh, wasn't changed. You know, the mantle movement, the jumping wasn't changed. Let's say when you when you adjust like uh, the crouching behavior, for example. So if we go back to our session front end and we view this, we can see that you know one test ran, zero fails. You know, it took three seconds. So you know, with this, as you can imagine, you can run multiple tests. You can actually even run it as many times as you want. I had this running one time like overnight with multiple tests and it's really great you know it's a great utility and it's really important for um, testing especially larger projects thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video please give it a like subscribe if you want to see more if you have any questions comment down below or jump into my twitch chat i stream at twitch.tv slash davyti we also have a great discord community so please feel free to join that links down below but yeah thanks again and i'll see you next time all right i'm on the heli Oh my god. I'm gonna go on the roof. Oh my god. <laughs>